Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, I know it's been a long time, it's been uh, almost five years since my last video, but a lot has happened since. I'll keep you guys posted about what has happened and what's going to happen. Other than that, today I'm posting just to show you of what happens when you should have steering axles on a trailer, but you don't. And you have to make really, 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 really tight turns. This video takes place in Southern Quebec hauling a stainless steel tank that's over height, over length, on an extendable double drop without steering axles. Anyway, let's get into the video. You'll see what I mean. There are multiple corners that uh, took quite a while to, to turn and where steering axles would have saved the day. Without further ado, here we go. So here, as you can see, we're exiting the shop where the tank was built. We can't turn in the right direction to follow our permit, so we have to turn on the wrong side, and you'll see we'll back up almost uh, a mile to a place where we can turn around and continue on our route. Here we have to make an extremely wide right turn. You'll see me performing a traffic retention maneuver to hold back all lanes of traffic to make sure they don't pass us on the right. Now here you can see that if we had steerable axles, we'd be able to maintain our lane and not impact oncoming traffic.
this was a tight one. At one point, you'll see me exit my vehicle and pull back a street sign. We were missing about one inch of clearance to make this turn. Another curve where having steerable axles would help us maintain our lane and not impact oncoming traffic. Here we deal with some impatient traffic. Notice that the only people with a stop sign is the traffic ahead of me. At one point I even have to block a car and explain to them not to move in between the load and the escort. Please note that this video is sped up and no dangerous maneuvers were done to block oncoming traffic. Now this was the worst corner of them all. It took about eight minutes to turn, but we were actually on site for over a half hour getting all the cars on the parking lot on the right to move out of the way so we could use it to back up and to widen our turn. Just another wide left turn here. Now this was a complicated one. We have to turn left and then right, but there's a center divider on the left road and it's about, I'd say 300 feet long. So we have to turn onto oncoming traffic lanes on the other side of the divider to be able to make our right turn after. Uh, I have to say this is one of the best drivers I have ever met.
you think? Are steering axles necessary? Should we have more of those in North America? We're starting to see quite a few now with the wind industry, blade trailers and whatnot, but not on double drops. I want to know what you think. Shout out in the comments and I'll do my best to answer you. And see you at the next video. Oh,